This is my everyday carry bag. I carry it just from home some days, particularly if I'm walking, but also carried it recently overseas. Uh, some people have everyday carries that are just small um, pocket bags, but don't fit in pockets. Um, so I don't know how they carry them if, if you can't fit it in your pocket. But you, in my mind, you have to have a strap that goes over your shoulder. Uh, if you haven't got a, a strap that goes over the shoulder, then it's taking up one of your hands and, uh, well, it's not very versatile. So some of the things on the outside here are a little bag that has its own little bag that it goes inside. So if we pick up things, uh, you've got a big bag to carry things in been used a lot that actually but it does fold up inside that little bag which fits in that pocket on the other side it's called a baby bottle but I'm not sure I bought it like that I bought it just as a water bottle um, and it's invaluable it's empty at the moment but it's invaluable for carrying just a little bit of water around if you want to take some pills um, some paracetamol, something like that. It's really, really good. Or you've just got a dry mouth and you just need just a little bit of water. Um, it's a perfect size bottle. So in this front pocket, on my travels, I carried my Luminix camera. Um, it was very good in that front pocket because it was readily available and I could get it out very quickly to snap a photo uh, and I found that useful. In the back pocket here, uh, that my phone would go in there, I'm filming with my phone at the moment, but the phone would go in there and the camera in the front. So the contents of the bag, uh, tissues, my glasses, I have to wear glasses, I also normally keep a pair of sunglasses in there as well, too. A little book for notes. A felt pen, a permanent red marker. It was very good for maps, making permanent notes on things. Uh, my inhaler. My Victorinox. Quite an old one. Pretty standard one. But sometimes you just need a knife or a bottle opener. A pen for the notebook. A compass. I actually use this on my travels. Sometimes just to orientate myself. Yes, I know there's one on the phone. But sometimes it's really simple just to hold out a compass. I've got this toothbrush set on a plane. Very useful to brighten yourself up. Throat tablet and a tape measure with a cactus on the front. Uh, so for my house often I'm taking notes and things, writing them down, writing the measurements and then going out to find them. Tape measure, pen and notepad Pretty fundamental. On the inside pocket, there's a pocket inside there. I would keep some paracetamol. So the water bottle comes in very handy for that. If you're out in the sun, you can get uh, headaches. A wet wipe. Tea bag. Handy to have tea, some band-aids, and a bigger band-aid. These are my sunglasses, quite a big case, quite expensive actually, so that's why they stay in the case. So as you're getting older, you absolutely need glasses to read something, and to use your phone even 
you need glasses to be able to read the phone uh, and all the other things you need probably more so than a younger person. So this would be considered a travel, local or international travel. If it was international travel, I'd have to leave a few things out, like the knife. But pretty much the rest of it could go with me. A few other things to keep in there maybe would be some muesli bars for snacks, uh, my phone charger, uh, maybe, depending on the length of where I'm going. When it came to the tea bags, you know, travelling in Europe, we prefer uh, just black tea or English tea, and could not get uh, black tea, English breakfast tea, anywhere. So we ended up buying our own. The strap is very useful. If you're tired, you can just hold everything over your shoulder. And if you want it more secure, you can put it right around your neck. And if you want it even more secure, you can hold the little carry handle here, which has got rubber on. It's quite a nice feel. And the strap together like that. It's very secure. From a security point of view, also had inside this big pocket where the uh, band-aids were, I could fit the passports in there. So they were pretty secure. Nobody was going to get their hand in there. Good little bag. Probably been guilty my whole life of leaving my wife to carry everything. And I'll say, oh, have you got any paracetamol? Have you got a band-aid? Have you got a pen? And I've sort of taken charge, finally, of all my own stuff. And to say that, of course, quite often we go out, I don't have this, and I'm still asking for it. But um, I feel more independent and in self-control. My wife sometimes would even borrow my water for a mouthful if she was having a, a tablet or something. So I felt quite, quite in control while I was doing that. It's a decent size little bag. If I pushed it a bit, I could even um, get a compact fold-up umbrella inside there if the weather was dodgy. Or I could move the little bag inside here and put the umbrella on the outside in here. haven't had to do that yet. Uh, but when it's rainy and you need an umbrella, you need an umbrella. Many everyday kits or everyday carries have things like um, multi-grips, pliers, crescents, screwdrivers. Um, I have never really found the need for that um, because they're very um, specialised and I don't, well, I've never had the need for them really. It's this stuff when you're travelling or moving around, it's these sort of things you're going to need. If you've got a splitting headache, you need the paracetamol. Or if your mouth's dry, you need some water. Or if you've just bought a whole lot of stuff, you need a little bag or a bigger bag to throw everything into to carry. Uh, and if you're trying to use your phone or read a map or read a book, you need your glasses with you if you're a glasses type person, which a lot of people are. Uh, so in my view, this is the stuff you need. To my bag, I've also decided to add a little raincoat, portable raincoat. Should have thought of that earlier, actually. Uh, some chewy mints. Never know when you need a bit of breath freshening or just a hunger buster. I've added a little packet of zip bags. They're very small. My wife often collects seeds when we're out walking. Uh, so having little bags with you to keep seeds separate is a very good idea. Uh, I've got decided to add a little sewing kit in case I have a clothing misadventure. I'm going to add that inside a little plastic bag, a Ziploc bag, so it all stays together. And 
is a usual thing. Throw some zip ties in for tying stuff up. There you go. The bag weighs around 1.2 kilos uh, with, uh, without the water filled. Uh, it's not too bad, actually, considering it's got a heavy camera in there and the phone um, and the other things. Uh, so slung over your shoulder, 1.2 kilos is almost nothing. It's very easy to carry, lightweight, everything with me.